Some of the best ideas come from individuals who are closest to the actual act of teaching and learning. And so if we can develop a process that is focused on providing voice and input and design from those individuals, then I think that that in and of itself creates an opportunity to provide better experiences for young people. Before I came here, Tilton had a bad name. People was like, don't go to Tilton. But now is this year, I'm like, yo, this is different. It's not the same. Like, it's, you could come here and actually learn. The thing I love the most about school redesign is that it really gives schools and school communities the freedom to dream big. We here in the district can really provide and be the leaders to make sure that every kid has a chance to experience an innovative, exciting, modern learning experience. As a district, we have to continuously think out of the box and think about things that actually work for young people, nurture the tremendous talents that we have, and it allows us to provide a great school close to where children live. We've been making some tremendous progress Progress, but we still had a lot of work to do. We began looking at our data, we visited schools around the country, and we came to a decision that we wanted to become a project-based learning school. We wanted to transform the school in such a way that it would accelerate our learning. It also meant looking at how we recruit talent. I know for one, I was like, nah, I don't know if I really want to be involved. But I did know one thing. I knew that something was not working for me. I knew that I wanted to try a change. They selected me, and I'm so glad because this has actually been a godsend. Teachers and school leaders are inherently innovators. They're inherently people who love to tinker and design and create, and this is a process that empowers them to do that. This doesn't happen without the teachers being involved. They're on the front lines in this work. They're in the classroom. They're the ones that are going to really push this initiative forward. You can bring some of these ideas to teachers, or they'll bring the ideas to you, and they're just willing to try it. That makes the innovation happen. Mr. Kennedy and I were able to teach the lower kids from two different perspectives, two different teaching styles. This way, if a student doesn't understand the skill from one perspective, they're able to go to the second perspective and maybe that'll help out. That STEM classroom hosts, uh, I don't even know how many animals are in there anymore, but there's lizards and turtles and snakes. I have one station where there's direct instruction. I have another station where there's more collaboration between the students, where they're working on something. And then there's a third station where it's independent learning and it's computer-based. It makes it more fun. Maybe I might need help with homework I had last night and I could say, well, Ms. Jones, could you help me understand this? And then the next station, we can work in groups and we try to ask each other for help. In August, we had a summer institute here. 100% of the teachers participated in the summer to learn about the new curriculum, to learn about student-led assessments, to learn about strategies that they could utilize in their classrooms with students to engage them in student talk, turn and talk, discussions, questioning, project-based learning. And we opened the year ahead of many other schools in that regard. The thing I really do like about the school is how they're changing it. A key piece of this is how do we create sustainable improvement? And the way to really make sure that that happens is to get the community on board from the outset. Having the school redesign initiative here really provides the foundation for being able to bring in the community. We have this designation, we have the flexibility to be able to build these programs, and then we can bring our partners in to make it all come together. This is the Family Resource Center. It was part of the redesign. We work with students and families so that the child can learn in class and then their classmates can learn better too. They've been able to do some real life problem solving. They, as a school, were able to get a million dollar grant for a playground and the kids were very active in researching and helping to design what those green spaces are going to look like. This intentional connection between the outdoor space and the academic program is a tremendous strength of this project. It was this strategic approach to aligning learning goals and outdoor assets that really attracted William Penn to this project. When you 
you're out trying to innovate, trying to create new ways of doing and of being, you can break things in the district. In some ways, it's really good because it makes us really think through how we're gonna have to adjust the main thing that we wanted to see this year was a change in the culture. We've been making progress, but we wanted it to feel like we were making progress as well. There's one particular student that went from a fourth grade level at the beginning of the school year to consistently scoring at an 11th grade level. In my classroom, you don't see me at the forefront. You see my students facilitating lessons, and I'm just going around and assisting and directing. When I talk to a student, and they're able to tell me how much more engaged they are in their learning this year than they have been in the past. And so when I talk to a teacher, and the teacher is so much more enthusiastic about the work that they're doing, about the professional atmosphere that's being created, it's when you see it really translate down into that school level, that's the real evidence when you know it's meaningful. I see the future of this program in developing the types of learning environments that are responsive to children. I think ultimately if we do this well, we will create better outcomes with respect to students that will then create better schools, that will then create better communities, that creates a better city.